Well, uh, we chose John Monlock because uh, we needed some remodeling done and I wanted to find someone who um, we liked his work. Uh, originally I saw an ad in the newspaper uh, for John Monlock remodeling and saw that he was going to be on a tour of homes for St. Cloud and I went and toured his homes and we, I loved the idea that he had for his clients and was uh, very interested and brought Amos uh, the following day to look at the homes that John had remodeled. And she was very excited about the look that he had given them that was very original um, and then when I got there it was uh, really evident the quality was there. We really liked the design. Um, everything seemed to go together really well. And they didn't follow the, um, we weren't interested in traditional, a traditional look and we could tell that his designs really reflected the personalities of, of, the, of the homeowners because they were very different and one home in particular really impressed us and we knew that John would be the person that we wanted to work with. Well, when we decided to remodel, we knew, of course, that we wanted our kitchen remodeled. Uh, we had a kitchen that was functional. I mean, we, we could cook, we could you know, use it. But what we really wanted was, uh, we, were, we knew we were not going to expand the space, but we wanted to redesign the space to, for it to be more functional and to add some elements that uh, Amos, who loves to cook, uh, would be more interested in, such as a gas stove and hood, um, stainless steel appliances, and we were going from a, a ceramic tile countertop, and we wanted granite. We didn't enter it, well, we didn't ended up not using granite, but we found a product that we liked even better, and it reflects uh, how we are as people. I do like the stove and the, and the appliances. The, uh, the design we brought to uh, the consultant was very similar to what we had and he helped us to redesign the space more efficiently so we actually ended up with about 104 inches of counter space more than we originally had. It was much better use of the space. And the, the one other thing was that we didn't know exactly what we wanted but we knew that what we wanted had to be different. Uh, we spent a lot of time pre-remodel um, making sure that the kitchen was a design that we absolutely loved. We're excited to see what it finished up as and uh, John as well as uh, uh, Dwayne who worked with the cabinets spent a lot of time with us. I would say several hours with us getting the exact colors, the exact kitchen, the exact design that we wanted. Yeah, we went through several layouts before the cabinets were the configuration we were really looking for, for space. Well, um, as far as budget, we, we came in, we came to John, we actually went and found out what we had available to us for funding for our remodel, and um, John uh, did take the time to um, sit down and we went over the contract. We actually changed it a little bit but uh, he did stay within budget. Uh, we did not have any surprises. The things that were important to us, which were, of course, cabinet color and also countertops, those were a priority for, uh, for the remodel. Uh, those were you know, um, discussed first, and um, they were the, the stable thing within the, or the outstanding thing within the bid. And then John, uh, one thing we, we um, were real undecided about was our floors. Uh, we had already had wood floors, but the kitchen was a ceramic tile floor, and uh, although Amos and I originally did not agree on the type of flooring we wanted, I did want to go back to a, a tile floor, and Amos insisted that we have uh, hardwood and you know do the continuation throughout the entire upstairs, and John explained to us the cost differences, uh, what our options were, and in the end, Amos was right, we do have hardwood floors throughout the whole, uh, the whole upstairs of our home and it is beautiful and I uh, can't believe I didn't think it would work. Well it is beautiful because it lends a lot of continuity from one room to the other and the surfaces are all the same now, they were different before. So I have you know, a complete smooth surface that you walk into and you can see all the way from one room to the other. The uh, floor people were amazing. They put the floor down very quickly, but really quality. You cannot tell from the original stuff, which has been here for 60 years, and the brand new stuff we've only had for less than a year. Um, 
but it, it matches perfectly. And they were. Uh, we chose to live in our home lot during the remodel, but it was very important to us that John uh, stay on schedule, uh, let us know what was going on, so that you know, for for our benefit while we were in the home, and. Um, also, keeping it clean because we were going to be here. Uh, we did not want a big dust mess. We didn't want to have to clean every night. But when John sent his his workers in and his um, carpenters every day, they had they put up uh, dust barriers. And when he left, for the condition that the house was in, every night that they left, the house was very clean and had a minimal amount of dust. And we were able to remain in our home comfortably, as comfortably as possible during the entire remodel. Yes, absolutely, we would rehire John Mondlock remodeling. Uh, he stayed on budget, he was very tidy, his workers were very efficient. Um, we actually do have another project that we're looking at in the future that we'd very much like to have done and because of the, the casework and stuff that he did here, we would absolutely um, go to him first. To, uh, to do the work. I would absolutely agree. We would definitely hire John Monmark remodeling again and uh, probably will in the not too distant future.